Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 25. It's Christmas Eve! And oh my god, don't I know it, I've literally just woke up. This is what Ali got in his Lint calendar today for day 24. He's dying to tuck into it, but you're not going to tuck into it. First, you've got to open that. It's 6 a.m. Well, it's a little bit after that now. Ali got me up at 6. Well, I'd set my alarm for 6, but I wasn't hearing it. But he heard his alarm. He made sure he heard his alarm well, and he woke me up. Morning. It better not be earlier yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. Um, we're actually up really early because we've got to deliver these Christmas Eve boxes. It is not my choice to get up early and deliver these Christmas Eve boxes. I was happy to deliver them lunchtime-ish. That was my original plan. But we're but, such lovely relatives, so we can go deliver it to Keith and Kyle. So Colin can see them open it. So both two of my brothers, actually all three of my younger brothers, are working today. And two of them are insisting that there they are when their kids open their Christmas Eve boxes because the, da the dads are really excited about the Christmas Eve boxes as well. So I've got to go to my younger brother Colin's about seven, half seven, and then I've got to go to my other brother Andrew's about half past eight. Luckily, they're all within walking distance. Like, I think the furthest away is Colin. He's like 10 minutes away walking. Um, the kids are all already up at Colin's. What time did Keith get up this morning? Eight minutes past four. Eight minutes past four, according to Snapchat. Ali was sitting talking to them. I was like, how were they up already? He was like, Mum, Keith was up at eight minutes past four. And that's Christmas Eve. That's because he's excited about his Christmas Eve box. Imagine what they're going to be like tomorrow when it's actual Christmas Day. Also, I have edited and done all the video and everything for today, but I decided not to upload it until after I've delivered all the Christmas Eve boxes, because obviously there's things in Ali's Christmas Eve box that some of the other boys and that will be getting, so fun I don't... Snaps. Fun snaps and the bomb bags and the candy canes and the Grinch sticks and all that. And I didn't want to give away anything. So I'm putting that up later. If you were wondering why my video was so late yesterday, it's, that's the reason why. And right now, I'm just going to quickly go and get dressed and upload that ready to go up about two-ish, I think. And then I'm going to try and work out how I'm going to transport these Christmas Eve boxes to Collins. I've got four boxes to take to Collins. And a bag, because Keith's got a bag. I think we're going to actually have to use bin liners because my biggest um, reusable bag doesn't fit the Christmas Eve boxes. Well, the one that I tried anyway, there might be slightly smaller ones that will fit in there, I'm not sure. I've got to go and, I've got to go and sort it out. That's really... Oh, They're trusting them the wrong way. The best is meant to go that way. Aye. The best is meant to go that way. Hi. That's leaving. <sighs> the party popper's been popped. It's all these little tin foil snowflakes and that. I did try and get it on camera and then Ali wasn't able to do it. So I picked it up. Well, he passed it to me. And then I tried to twist it to see if maybe something was stuck and I accidentally popped his popper. I'm so sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but, um... I, uh, would you be the same? Would you be quite the um, calm if I ate your lint chocolate teddy? No. Oh, it's all right, Mum. <laughs> or your hotel chocolate Santa's. Wait, some of them stuck to the wall. They're all the way up there. We were trying to do it over the tree so the tree would look all snowy. No. Oh, <laughs> on my TV. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad I popped your popper. Oh, my advent calendar. I've got to do my last day of my advent calendar. I can't believe this is the last day of my advent calendar. I'm so sad. I want to open this calendar every day. Oh, it's a big box. 
Nice. Focus. A light moisturising day cream with SPF 15. Right, I really, really have to get on with the day. <laughs> Just, Tracy, stop filling all my boxes. What day is it, Emma Jane? Well, that you didn't care what day it is. What day is it, Caitlin? Christmas Eve. Emma Jane's just shown me a beautiful Christmas decoration that she made at school. She wants me to put it in the vlog. It's lovely and colourful and sparkly, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Open the presents! <laughs> Ali, go and help Chloe open her present. <laughs> Keep struggling. <laughs> oh no, half the fun's the battle with the sellotape key. <laughs> I made sure that they couldn't peek. <laughs> oh, Caitlin's leaving me to den. Just get it ripped, man. Oh, Dad. Nice. Oh, man. Hey. There you go, Chloe. <laughs> yeah, well done, Emma Jane. Now you've got the, another two bits to get off. <laughs> Caitlin's just decided to rip the paper. What is it? <laughs> Eh, uh, what's that? Oh. I never put that in there. I never put that in there. Look at Chloe. What's this? What's this? It's a shower cat. Oh. <laughs> it's a Santa Claus Boy shower cat. Mama, that's a spiral as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so cute. It is cute, eh? Oh, my God. Oh, Emma Jean's still not Oh, it's Empty, just burst the box open then. Keep burst that box for us. Oh, I forgot Mama. about that. Mama got rainbow It's a cookie mix. Oh, great, that's awesome. Emma Jane got that last night. Emma, what was that in your hand? I got that. Mama, what have you got, Chloe? Oh, chucked it back. What's that? What's that? They're candy sticks. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. It's a squishy key ring. Oh my 
Oh, it is a bath bomb. What's that, man? Uh, is that Let's see. Yeah. I see why he's got a bag now. You can, you can put it with this. Look, right here. I've got a brush. Okay. What's in there? Can we have one of these now? Oh! I forgot the squishy cream. Have you finished going through your box, Emma Jane? No, it's gone. MJ, don't you use it to clean the toilet with that one? Hi, MJ, don't you use it to clean? MJ, went inside the bathroom rather than I walked in and she's been cleaning in the toilet bowl with a sponge. Oh, Emma Jane. Caitlin. That's why she's on, Bob. What do you want out there for Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Oh, look how we face. Did you see that? <laughs> oh my god, you actually got a freaking Christmas half so. Wait, what? Christmas what? That's Tracy, there was only one of them. No, it's that little sack. <laughs> you just try to fit that on. That's up to mum and dad, he's isn't got it? Socks are covering his ankle. You like it? You're free. Uh, I ain't showing them up for me. <laughs> the face. I've not really got much of Kyle. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Kyle. What's your favourite? What's your favourite thing, Kyle? I go basically the exact same. The Fortnite thing. You can't. Your mum's got to steal that when it gets to December next year, eh? Because it's got faster on it. Oh, he's nine. Okay, first Christmas, first batch of Christmas Eve boxes have been delivered. I've rushed home to pick up the other two. Actually, I never even said this yet, but my brother came and picked me up and helped me with the Christmas Eve boxes. And he has said, because he only needs his car to go to the train station and then come back from the train station. So he said, as long as Mark takes him to the train station and picks him up, Mark can borrow the car. So that's ace, because that means when I go to my brother, who has seven kids, seven Christmas Eve boxes, that is going to help me out a, a bunch. So Mark's actually went to take him to his, the train station, I want to say work. Mark's away to do that and then he's going to the garage and all that and then by the time he comes back from the garage I'll probably be back from my other brothers and then we'll go down to the last, deliver the last batch of Christmas Eve boxes to my brothers. Steady, go! Oh my god that was the lamest goal ever. Sorry, Tyler, I had to bend it <laughs> to get it to fit. I go fun tacks. Thumb tacks? Fun snaps, mate. Did he call them thumb tacks? Oh, I forgot the pot. Aye, uh, good. Right back, yeah, I can put it, forget you, you're here. Well, I'm going to let Leo finish saying anything. Oh, that says naughty. Exactly, you can say anything. Oh, I forgot the squishy cream again. <laughs> A bag of two bags of popcorn, three of solid and coffee. The snowman's the snow dog hard candy lollipop. Okay. I've got sure. cream in. <laughs> Another bomber. <laughs> Can I? You get. There you go. Frosty the sweet. Who Grinch? Oh, I got. It's a snow dog. Oh, you have this 
I'm just eating toast and that. But Mark's just came back. He went down to the garage to pay for his MOT and see about getting the brakes fixed and everything. And what's happened, Mark? It passed. It passed! I went down and I says to the guy, I says, I'm here to pay you for the MOT and to find out how much it'd be to get the brakes diagnosed. Like, is this going to be £100, £200? And I'm like, I'm looking at less than £300, right? And he looked at me like I was crazy and he went, it passed. I went, no I didn't, I says it failed. And he went, yeah it did, he says, but I took it out of wee drive this morning, fiddled and shuggled a bit with it, that were literally his words, and passed it. I was like, <laughs> awesome! And then he only charged me an extra £30, so. Oh, that's awesome! So, we don't really need Colin's car, no, but now, but now we're saved, stuck with it. No, potentially saved a lot of money. I was expecting maybe £200 bill or something like that, and an extra £30 is pretty good. Mmm! Yay, it passed! After all your hard work! Yay! He's worked so hard on it for the last couple of months, because he had a lot of welding and stuff to do. But yay, it passed! We're in, the, in between brothers, we've really got to go to my other brothers now and I'm just scoffing down toast because I just felt really, really starving. Ah, ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Go! Go! She pulled off her name tag. <laughs> <laughs> no, you take the cellar tape off, you donut. I never put them in there. My help cards are working hard so we can get your gift ready for Christmas. Merry Georgia. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I actually No, Mackenzie probably has got a different one. He's got what's <laughs> it? <laughs> <laughs> It is so special. Oh, it's a cup. 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 It's a Well, you've got to have Christmas Eve jammies. <coughs> That's marshmallows. It's a purse, you silly. That's for the bath. What did you get then, Mike? Can't you even can't you even get that? 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 Can
Mom, 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 Oh, you like Dumbo? Well, look at all your things back in here. So you didn't lose them. No, it's not even in your car yet. It's not on you. Oh, you're sneezing. What's that? Oh, you're into your cookies already. I've got a plastic. Oh, wow. It was to me too. How cool is that? Harder, press harder. Usually mix it. It's going red. Well done, Skylar. You managed to keep that hole. Never to probably put in marshmallows in. Can I put in marshmallows in? I just put some on top. Sugar. You don't need sugar then. Enough sugar going in there. Yeah, I'll put that. No. Okay. You need to take away then. I'll give you a GG. Oh, she's put the one in. I saw that, Pedro. Oh, I'll put your own in. Lift it up. You have to hold yeah, do it. Like that. I have another baggy marshmallow. You do. Oh, Samantha's a pro. Oh, I just missed that. I don't know if I got that. Do you want to put your flake? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, my flake. Paige, what are you doing? Oh, that is the perfect hot chocolate. <laughs> and you want a flake in yours too? You can have a hot chocolate pod. Uh, Aye, Ali's got, got three chocolate. bags of hot chocolate pods in the house. Thanks for that, Gigi. <laughs> oh, that looks delicious. There you go. That flake's so good. Is it over there? Yeah. Mm. That and that's the awesome hot chocolate. Uh oh, what's happened? Oh, what's this wrap? You got it on your nightie. That's okay, because you've got new jammies for today, haven't you? I am. <laughs> oh, oh. That is the best hot chocolate I've ever tasted. <laughs> Are you posing with your hot chocolate? Yes, it's at the, the best hot dog. <laughs> and the wild. The wild. The wild. And the wild. I just. I mean, in the world. Yeah, absolutely. The best hot dog. I'm going to pull my entire life. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, are you wanting a cookie? Yeah, are you pull you pull the cellophane and Auntie Tracy will pull the no from that side. You pull that. There you go. <laughs> Cookies and hot chocolate. Christmas Eve boxes are delivered. That's it. That's it for another year. They're all delivered. It's 11 o'clock, I came home and I uploaded my video because it's now safe to put it up now that they've all got their Christmas Eve boxes, it doesn't matter what they see on my videos. And now I'm going to start on peeling all my carrots and my potatoes for tomorrow's dinner and I'll just leave it on water until tomorrow. Stop it Simba! Until tomorrow and then I'll drain them and add fresh water before I cook them. So I'm going to get that done now. And then I need to hoover, change the kettle or tray. Mm, really not got much else to do apart from dinner and everything tonight so maybe I actually get a few hours to relax this afternoon. What? Alexa, 
happy Christmas song. I did, I honestly, I did brush it this morning. So, it's now quarter to two. I have done, I think I've done all that I need, or all that I wanted to do, which I thought was going to take me all day, but I think I've done everything that I needed to do. I've done all the tidying and that. Got all my... Veg prepared. Veg prepared. And actually, this is a massive catering pot. It doesn't look very big on camera. This is a massive one. See this one, this is my usual soup pot. You'll have heard me use this before. That's my usual soup pot, but look at it. It's like, this one's double the size. So I've used that for potatoes. This is my brother's one. I borrowed that from him. And then I've got carrots in my usual soup pot. Do you know what I've not done? I've literally just realized I've not taken anything out of the freezer, so I've got to do that as well. I'll do that in a second. I do have one present to wrap, and I can actually show you it, because by the time- This gets uploaded, Imogen will see it. By the time this goes up on Christmas Day, Emma Jane would have seen it. Would have already seen it, sorry. So, I don't know if I've ever said this before, but ever since she was a little dog, like, Emma Jane was a little baby, Rosie has always been her best pal, my dog Rosie, and she has bought Rosie a little gift every year. And obviously now that we've got Diego the past couple of years, she gets Rosie and Diego a gift. So in return, Rosie always buys Emma Jane a present. And it sounds maybe a little bit unfair with the kids and all that, but the kids are totally fine with it. They understand that Rosie is Emma Jane's best pal and they both get each other a present. And it's just a little present. It's nothing like, you know, no, no lol dolls or anything like that. So this year we went into Tesco, was it last night when we were at McDonald's and I nearly forgot that Rosie needed to get a present for Emma Jane but I found this, <laughs> this little chocolate, it was too cute. And they had loads of chocolates, it wasn't like they were running short but I just thought there was, this was too cute, a little pig in a blanket chocolate. <laughs> well, hopefully Emma Jane will like it, do you think she will? I hope so. Sure, I think so. I think she, well, they had some of the Thornton's chocolates, you know, the Thornton Santas and all that, but she's already had them before. So I wanted to get her some. Oh, that was Ali. <laughs> Something a wee bit different. Sorry, am I in your way, pal? No, I'm. I'm. Um, when to tell you stop so I can. Oh. Uh, Ali, if you remember, and I can't even remember what day it is, but I think Ali. It might have been a day that. Um, no, it wasn't it actually. It was, it was Ali got these ginger me gingerbread men cookie dough mix things. So he's actually got to do them now because we've, we had that day. Oh, you know when it was? It was the day before we had. We were making it with the girls. So we left it till Christmas Eve because Ali. We tried to bake something. It's usually one of these packs and that for on Santa. Christmas Eve for Santa. Oh my god, last year, I have to tell you, it was quite funny. A little story, a little story time. Last year, Ali was making cookies. Sorry, pal, I'll keep leaving you out. I'm just trying to be comfortable. Last year, Ali was making cookies on Christmas Eve when Stuart came up with the kids, with Paige and Skylar and all, all their brothers and sisters. And Skylar came up to Ali and she was like, what are you doing? And Ali says, I'm making cookies for Santa. And she was like, but Ali, if Santa eats all them cookies, how will he fit down the chimney? It was so cute and I just think it's one of the funniest little stories. She was really angling for a cookie, but I love her... How old would she have been then? Four? Was she four then? Last, yeah. Was it last year? Yeah, last year. Was it last year? I really loved her four-year-old logic. Santa can't eat all the cookies because he won't fit down the chimney. She's right. Well, you said, said anyway, magic though, isn't it? I don't really need to help you with this, do I? No. I really, I'll just supervise. Bye. Just supervise, he's going to do it all by himself. Check the state of this cat. He's such a limpet. Just needs to be cuddled in constantly. 
And Mark made the mistake of sitting down on his laptop, so he got clung to. Mm -hmm. Look, he knows I'm talking about him. He opened that one eye just a tiny wee bit to say, I know you're talking about me. Also, look what's arrived. The turkey. I've said this before, but for those that don't know, I will explain. My sister-in-law Emma, her dad's a butcher, so he gets the, but the turkey for us. And he debones it and rolls it and it's actually stuffed. I don't know what the stuffing is, but I make my own stuffing. But this turkey, she told him it needs to feed 14 people and it's flippant massive, like look for size comparison. That's two of the big pasta bowls side by side and the turkey's, I think the turkey's just a bit longer. That's my hand at one side. Flipping huge. I'm glad I definitely have a roasting tin big enough for that or I'd be panicking but now I'm really stressing out about cooking it because I don't know the actual weight and I don't know I probably probably got to have to put it on the scales that I weigh myself on rather than the kitchen scales because it's that flipping heavy just making dinner just taking it out of the oven this is the cheesy baked enchiladas and this is the nachos oh the lid came off the roses, oh the lid came off the roses, and we tanned them in small toes, when the lid came off the roses, Merry Christmas! <laughs> so we've had our dinner, Ali and I have had our bath, we're in our Christmas pyjamas, Ali is playing the Xbox at the minute. I have had such a chilled day, even though I've been doing stuff constantly, I have been so chilled out. It's not been rush, rush, rush like I thought it was going to be. I thought I have a million things to do today, but actually because I got the Christmas Eve box deliveries out of the way so early, it left me so much time to get stuff done and sorted the rest of the day. And even like peeling the veg and all that, that didn't take very long either. It took about half an hour to do all the carrots, but the potatoes I had done like within 15 minutes. But I think we're all organised now. We freaking better be all organised now. I, I keep trying to run through everything in my head and there's not anything that I can think of that I've missed. I've even done everything, little things like fill up my Christmas salt and pepper shakers. I've got all the dishes out, like serving dishes and all that, for because obviously we cook stuff in loads of dishes, but then we put it all in, on the table in serving dishes. So I think I've got enough of them out. I've counted out all the cutlery for tomorrow. What else? Just done like, just silly little things like that, so that I'm not forgetting stuff tomorrow. I haven't changed my table and my side unit about. That can be done tomorrow. Um, that's not really a big deal and we need the table in the morning for our breakfast anyway my brother has delivered his table and his chairs sorry I'm still going through that list in my head that I need to things that I need to get done I even had time after tea well before tea and after tea to edit this video like it's just been so chilled and I've had a lot more time on my hands than I thought I would and I thought well I could just relax for a few hours or I could just take this time and edit the video so I can relax for the rest of the night and all day tomorrow and not not worry about doing any more editing for a good few days anyway. So that's what I'm going to do now. It's like about 8 o'clock now and all I've got to do is edit this one little clip that I'm doing now and then that's me done for a couple of days. I do want to say that I am going to be vlogging on Christmas Day but for those that know, you know, I'm working up until the 4th of January. I have one day off between Boxing Day and the 4th of January. And I don't want to be spending that one day doing anything. Because December has been manic and hectic. And I just want to have one day where I don't have anything to do. Except my general mum's stuff that I need to, you know, I need to feed this person that I birthed. And stuff like that but I don't I really just want to have a really lazy chill day that thump was Ali getting mad at Fortnite by the way if you heard that then he smile at me like that you like you're a little innocent I am going to be vlogging Christmas Day I have no idea when I'm going to get the chance to edit that because I sure as hell ain't doing it on Christmas Day Christmas Day is a no editing day I don't want to be stressing myself out getting videos up and all that on Christmas Day I just want to sit back relax 
as much as I can be cooking for 14 people and just enjoy the day. I don't need the added pressure of having to edit the video and get it uploaded. So there will be a Christmas Day vlog at some point in the near future. But thank you everyone who has watched my Vlogmas videos. I have really enjoyed I really enjoyed Vlogmas. I really enjoyed December, but I always enjoyed December. But it's been really nice to actually share it with you guys. And I just hope that every one of you has a magical Christmas and enjoys every single second spent with your families or however you're spending it. And all that remains for me to say is Catherine, Elizabeth, Samantha, Ryan, Tyler, Keith, Kyle, Ali, Mackenzie, Romany, Zach, Caitlin, Paige, Skylar Rose, Emma Jean, Georgia and Chloe. I hope you guys have the best day ever. I love you lots. Merry Christmas everyone! <laughs>